is the Great Brigadoon, and this is all of the sets releasing in August of 2023. Before we get into the first theme, every month I will say what my favorite set is for that month, so stay tuned to the end. First, we have Architecture, and only one set is releasing on August 1st, which is the Himaje Castle. It looks great, but has a hefty price of $160. Next, we have Batman, which has four sets coming out, all based on the 1989 Batman movie. First, we have the Batwing for $38 and can be hung up on your wall. Next is the 4 Plus Juniors Batmobile for $27. Should have been $10, but the main figures are cool. Next we have the Batmobile Chase for $48, and I don't know who wants a Batmobile that bad for almost $50. The Joker is nice, but that's really the only thing good about this set. The last Batman set is the Batman construction figure for $33, and I like the quarter circle tiles as abs. The next theme is City, which has a lot of sets coming out, 17 to be exact. First up is the Passenger Airplane for $120. It's not that bad, and I really like the tow car. Next is the Arctic Explorer ship for $160, and I'm glad LEGO City is doing Arctic sets again. The boat looks big and even has an orca whale. Next is the Deep Sea Submarine for $110 and looks good. It also has a shipwreck with a couple of sharks. Next is the Downtown for $200, which is a lot, but it has 2,010 pieces and 14 main figures. The Arctic Snowmobile is a great little set with some nice animals and a good main figure. Should have been $10 though, and you will see a pattern where LEGO likes to upcharge a dollar. The Ski and Climbing Center is a fun concept, and for $120, looks like it has some good pieces and cool mafix. Next is the Explorer Diving Boat for $40, and has some cool colors and animals, but it's not worth it. Ice Cream Shop seems a little lackluster for $40. $30 would have been the superb price for it, but I do like the shop mascot. Next we have the apartment building for $95. I do like the concept, but some of the design choices seem questionable, like the random studs non top pieces on the side of the building. The family house for $60 has a funny name because it's family house and electric car. Why not just call it a family house? I do like having just a regular house though, and the hearing aid print is pretty cool. The Arctic Explorer truck and mobile lab for $75 is not a good deal, but it looks good and you should definitely pick it up when it's on sale. The car watch for $33 seems like a $20 set, but the actual set itself looks good. The street skating park for $68 is a good concept, but just doesn't seem like a $70 set. Construction trucks and wrecking ball crane for $60 actually seems like a good deal of all the big lego pieces you're getting for a four plus junior set each vehicle is twenty dollar these next three sets are based off the video game lego 2k drive the modified race cars is thirty dollars and has two cool cars the combo race pack for thirty dollars is definitely a good set with some nice vehicles the last city set for august is monster truck race for thirty dollars and it looks like a fun set the next theme is classic and only has one set releasing, which is the Creative Color Fun for $65. It looks cool with its cool colors. The next theme is Creator 3-in-1 with three sets releasing on August 1st. The exotic pink parrot for $20 is a nice recolor. Next is Main Street for $140 and has a lot of different builds and minifigures. The final set is Space Roller Coaster for $110, and Creator 3 in 1 seems to like doing these roller coasters. The next theme is Disney, but this set is actually a crossover of Disney and Duplo. It is the Camping Adventure for $50, and I'm sure the kids will like it. The Anna and Elsa's Magical Carousel for $20 is okay, at least they're not ripping you off. <laughs> the next theme is Duplo with 6 sets releasing. First, the Green One Family House for $130. Next, the Dream Playground for $50 and the Recycling Truck for $20. Next, you have the Bus Ride for $20 and the Water Park for $40. 
and you have the Life at the Daycare Center for $45. I'm sure the kids will enjoy these sets. The next theme is Lego Art, and the two new releases are the Amazing Spider-Man for $200. I think it's a very cool art piece and uses some nice techniques. Next we have the Modern Art for $50 which is good for art lovers and they can have something a little less on the pricey side. Next we have an entirely new theme for this year called LEGO's Dreams with 11 new sets releasing August 1st. First you have the Dream Village for $30, the Nightmare Shark Ship for $140, Mr. Oz's Space Bus for $100, Mateo and Z-Blob the Robot for $20 looks fun, Mrs. Costello's Turtle Van for $48, Izzy and Bunchu the Bunny for $20, The Pegasus Flying Horse for $50, The Fantastical Treehouse for $110, The Crocodile Car is my favorite for $60, Grim Keeper the Cage Monster for $38, and The Stable of Dream Creatures for $80. It looks like they have some nice concepts and at least this theme's gained some care. The next theme is Gabby's Dollhouse, and the first set is Gabby's Dollhouse for $80. Next we have the Kitty's Fairy Garden Party for $35, Gabby and Murkat's Ship and Spa for $20, and Bakey with Cakey Fun for $11. The theme has a lot of different colors and some cool pieces. The next theme is Lego Icons with some great sets coming out. The Corvette for $150 is an amazing set with a great color scheme of red and white. The windshield is actually a dark transparent gray instead of the regular clear windshield. The set has some new pieces and some light bluish gray detailing on the front. It can also be a convertible or a hardtop. The Tranquil Garden for $110 is a beautiful set and looks like an amazing display piece. Another new theme for this year is Sonic the Hedgehog. The first set is Sonic vs. Dr. Eggman's Death Egg Robot for $60. This set looks great, but the dark transparent dome is just not accurate. Sonic's Green Hill Zone Loop Challenge for $100. This set looks amazing. It's basically an entire level of the game. Tails Workshop and Tornado Plane for $40 is a nice little set to get Sonic and Tails. Sonic Speed Beer Challenge for $35 looks good and has a, a launcher to make Sonic run. Amy's Animal Rescue Island for $50 seems like the lesser of all the sets, but has some cool animals and pieces. And Sonic the Hedgehog Keychain for $6 is overpriced, it, it really should be $5. The next theme is LEGO Super Mario, and the first set is Dry Bowser's Castle for $110. And all of these sets are expansion sets. Diddy Kong's Minecart Ride for $110. Picnic at Mario's House for $38. Dixie's Jungle Jam for $27. Rambi the Rhino for $11. Larry and Morton's Airship set for $80. And Donkey Kong's Treehouse for $60. All these sets look cool, but expensive since you already have to buy a $60 set just to get Mario. Another theme with sets releasing is Marvel. And after two years, we finally have our first No Way Home set. The Spider-Man Final Bow is $110 with 9 minifigures. It has all of the Spider-Man and almost all of the villains as well. The Statue of Liberty Head is actually the same one as in Welcome to Apocalypse which is pretty cool. Next is Venomized Group for $50. This is a weird concept, but I do like that LEGO is doing different things and different concepts. Next is the Endgame Final Battle for $100. It comes with 5 minifigures, 1 nano figure, and 1 big fig. This set has a lot of easter eggs and multiple ways to display it. The Iron Man Hulkbuster vs Thanos for $27 is another set that's just overpriced. Next is Wolverine's Adamanium Claws for $70. I really like this concept, but it just needed to be $20 cheaper. Next we have the Captain America and Wolverine construction figures for $33 each. I don't think in general Leo should be doing action figures. They look okay, but they're just not my cup of tea. Finally, you have Captain America's shield for $200, and I think this is a great display piece and good for price per piece. The next theme is Minecraft, and the first set, the Axolotl house for $27. Looks like the Axolotl in Minecraft. It even comes with three axolotls and one is in the bucket. The next set is the Iron Golem Fortress 
for $110. He even turns into an iron golem and looks like a pretty good build. Next is the pumpkin farm for $40. It has Steve, a witch, and a frog. The build looks good and I like the boat it comes with. Next is the crafting box 4.0 for $80. It comes with some minifigures and some animals. The next theme is Star Wars with 6 sets releasing on the first. The first of which is the Yavin 4 Rebel Base for $170. This set includes a mini Y-Wing and 12 minifigures. I do think there needed to be more Rebels in the Rebel Base though. The 330 second battle pack is a good idea but a bad execution. I don't want to get into it but double holes? Why? The next one is Yoda's Jedi Starfire for $35 and it's just $10 too much. Next you have all of the mechs for $16 and that's just $1 too much. The main figures are good but I just wish for the extra dollar I could get a pauldron for my Boba Fett. The next sets are all from Mandalorian Season 3. The Spire Tank for $50 looks good, just wish it had that little droid that controls the tank and the Mandalorian holding chamber. The Mandalorian M1 Starfighter Microfighter for $16 should have been the dollar cheaper. I do like the figures as they are top quality. Finally, the last theme is Technic, and I like this next set. It is the NASA Mars Rover Perseverance for $100. It looks like the rover comes with a drill, and it can even be driven with an app. Next is the Lamborghini Huracan Tunisia for $50. Sorry if I butchered the name. This is a funny set to be out because it looks and has the same color scheme as the Lamborghini Sion. Next is the John Deere 948L-11 Skitter for $200. It looks like a cool vehicle but should be $50 cheaper. Next is the Audi RSQ e-tron for $180. It can be driven like the Rover but maybe should be a little bit cheaper. The Yamaha NT-10 SP for $240 looks great with the black and the gold and the blue. And the last set releasing this month is the Lieberher Crawler Crane LR13000 for $700. Finally, this set has been delayed a number of times and it looks giant. Now for my favorite set of the month. Before that though, please subscribe. You clicking that little red button helps me make more videos. Now my favorite set for this month is the LEGO Icons Corvette. It looks great and is well rounded almost everywhere. Thank you for watching. Comment down below what your favorite set of the month is and I will see you in the next one. Bye!